In this presentation, we're going to go through the main messages of Sonar, what it says about where Wales is, and what it says about what Wales needs to do to achieve the sustainable management of natural resources. We framed Sonar around the twin challenges of the nature and climate emergencies that Wales faces. And there's a common pattern worldwide, which is repeated in Wales, and you can see on this slide, of the decline of biodiversity. Wales also faces the challenge of dealing with climate change and things like sea level rise. We've set up here a few ways that climate change is going to impact on Wales and what we need to prepare ourselves for. These twin challenges of climate change and biodiversity loss are shown on these two graphs from the United Nations, showing the very distinct unsustainable long-term trends. To put things in context, this is a timeline for the entire history of planet Earth. The top arrow shows it's been 65 million years since we had this level of extinction of species. The bottom one shows it's been 3 million years since we had this level of CO2 in the atmosphere. Having boosted that level of CO2, we've now effectively ended the stable period of climate we've had for the past 10,000 10,000 years in which human civilization has developed. The Das Gupta review of the economics of biodiversity for the UK Treasury was recently published and this is a graphic from it. Down the left hand side you can see all the economics notation but basically um, as the picture is showing the problem is we're taking more out of the planet, more natural resources out of nature than the biosphere can actually regenerate. This is the same story shown on a graph and you can see that produced capital in the purple line is increasing as we transform nature into man-made materials resulting in the, the lower blue line natural capital uh, falling and one of the interesting points about this if you look at the percentages on the right hand side is that the report calculates for investment in nature uh, natural capital will deliver a 19% per annum return on investment, whereas manufactured produced capital, people only get 5% return on investment. So it seems an odd, odd choice for humans to make to uh, transform so much natural capital into produced capital. All of this highlights the really central place of AIM4 on a regenerative economy shown on the top left. Because unless we get the economy pointing in the right direction, we're going to continue to have impacts on natural resources, on AIM-1, on resilient ecosystems in AIM-2, and on healthy places for people in AIM-3. The Dalskepta Review has calculated that to carry on providing humans with the level of natural resources we're currently taking out of the biosphere, we would need 1.7 planets, that's shown at the top of the picture. At the bottom, is the, the Wales footprint. So if everyone in the world lived as we in Wales do, we would need 2.4 planets. As a species, we aren't behaving as if we intended to stay on the planet. But if you look at our other options, like all taking off to Mars, then um, sorting out our behavior and, and looking after planet Earth looks like a really the best option. So to help us do that, the report sets out a range of opportunities for more sustainable management at the ecosystem level within the eight broad ecosystems and at the economic level through regulation. To deliver the scale and pace of change that the UN is saying is needed to address the nature and climate emergencies, we need to look at something bigger though, something that's actually going to lead to a reduction in the problems that the, the environment is having to cope with. If we look at what's at the centre generating these problems for the environment, we see that it's the, the food system, the mobility system and the energy system which are generating most of the issues. So it makes sense for Wales to have a look at how we organise these systems that um, support our everyday lives. The systems approach to these problems gives us lots more opportunities to transform the systems rather than just tweak what we have at the moment. This is a 
does Gupta Review's summary of the three big things that we need to do to sort out the nature and climate emergencies. The first one is really about more efficient use of natural resources and building a circular and regenerative economy so we aren't taking more out of the planet than it can regenerate. The middle one is looking at going beyond GDP as a measure of success and looking at well-being metrics and in Wales we have the well-being goals and we've suggested in SONAR maybe making use of donut economics models. On the right hand side is, um, is where SONAR feeds into in terms of policy change and action on the ground. This is the policy framework in Wales and this shows all the different policies and plans that SONAR could potentially feed into. Particularly important on the bottom right is the natural resources policy and area statements because that natural resources policy will be drawn up with reference to SONAR and applies the cro across the whole of Welsh Government. As well as informing that formal policy framework and the institutions of government shown here in green, SONAR also has the job of reaching into civil society to inform discussions about how we transform Wales and central to that will be unpacking SONAR as a basis for area statements. So that's a quick tour through some of the main features of the report but for the detail, go to our website where all the chapters are available.